hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology nice to see you after a vacation and i'm back from an amazing uh, spiritual retreat in italy it was an amazing experience going to places like venice and florence and many spiritual gatherings many spiritually enlightened interested and spiritually obsessed people and it was an amazing experience and i will very soon make a video on the italy trip okay and today's topic is on how to deal with loneliness because there was a question which was asked to me somebody from the land of the nawabs lucknow in india that uh, it was a man who asked that i'm in a relationship with a girl but even then i end up feeling lonely sometimes <laughs> or other most of the times even when she is there or she is not there or so why does that happen and uh, how to deal with this okay what does venus has to say regarding this regarding loneliness what does the scripture say regarding loneliness all right so we will discuss on that today okay so if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me you can go down to my website below you will find it in the description section okay and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there and he will help you to get rid of loneliness okay so basically what is loneliness seclusion loneliness loneliness is a feeling see loneliness is basically an entitlement complex why do i say this entitlement complex because when you say that i am feeling lonely it means you feel there is a sense of emptiness in you which somebody else should come and fulfill yes does it sound like somebody no <laughs> so when you feel lonely what's exactly happening is you do not take responsibility for your own life what you do is you give the key to your happiness to some random person in this world and there are two ways you can end up feeling lonely in this world the first way is you are alone alone means you are either single or you are you are a widow or you are divorced or your spouse doesn't want to be with you or anything of that sort or you are in a relationship you are married you know you are staying happily quote and quote but still you end up feeling lonely so this proves that loneliness actually has nothing to do with whom we stay or with whom we are connected it is it has nothing to do with our externals it absolutely has nothing to do with that okay loneliness is something which we feel inside it's basically a empty void nothing else more than that loneliness is what basically it is a symptom of a disease that is why what people do during these days they have these uh, dating websites like you know, like dating uh, mobile apps like tinder etc so they will go into tinder and you know they will go on meeting people here there <laughs> and by that they think that our loneliness will go away so when you are doing such unnecessary nonsense what you are actually doing is you are giving your key to happiness <coughs> not to one person to 10 20 30 40 i don't know how many in kaliyuga there are people who say to me that <coughs> uh, i am i'm actually single but no they say that i am in a relationship why not because i like this person i love that person yeah to some extent could be but because i do not want to uh, remain uh, be, be single that is why i am staying in a relationship which i don't want but the question is uh, either you are single or you are in a relationship if you are not happy then you are anyways feeling lonely right so the purpose of you being in a relationship which you thought would give you uh, freedom from loneliness is not getting uh, fulfilled you are still lonely so for that we have to understand there is a basic principle that 
there's only one person in this world who is responsible for our happiness and who is that yes you got it right <laughs> it is not your husband it is not your wife it is not your boyfriend your girlfriend your mother your father your son your daughter oh, my god so many people <laughs> it is you yourself and therefore the first thing that you need to do when you feel lonely is you need to sit down and close your eyes and think for a moment what is that inside me which i am trying to fulfill through somebody else what is that inside me because there is a voice inside which says that you need somebody so you have to identify why from where that need is coming from till the time you do not do that your problem will not be solved that is why people get into relationships or they get married and then they end up indulging in you know extra marital affair or they end up doing things which bring shame to their entire dynasty why because before getting married or before getting into a relationship they did not ask this question to themselves that what is that inside me which i think that person can fulfill and if you are about to get married or <laughs> you are in a relationship or anywhere in between you must ask this question to yourself because two thirsty people when they get together they cannot fulfill quench each other's thirst it's not possible so what is a relationship basically relationship is nothing but something which overflows so first <clears throat> you be happy with your own life you have a fulfilled life and then you share your happiness with somebody else that is what is a relationship that is why people who are miserable alone are also miserable when they are in a relationship people who are miserable when they are single are also miserable when they are inside a relationship because when you are miserable alone what happens is they see your vibe attracts your tribe so you will also attract another person who is also miserable then what happens is you both end up becoming more miserable together millions of times more than you were alone and then people say oh we don't know if this relationship will work if it will not work all the questions and answers come that time right so you have to ask yourself that tomorrow suppose this person is not there in my life then what uh, how 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 will i deal with that okay what will i do in a way which i can give fulfillment to myself rather than depending on somebody else and at a spiritual level you have to understand that ultimately the mind is not feeling lonely so when you say that i feel lonely it's not actually that the mind is feeling lonely who is feeling lonely the soul you you are the soul you are not this body you are soul krishna says that in the gita so if the soul is feeling lonely then nothing of this world can give him freedom from that loneliness and to be very honest from the time this soul is in this material world the soul is constantly feeling lonely nothing else is going on just loneliness so what the soul is trying to do fill up that loneliness by using you know opposite sex gadgets by seeing things like game of thrones or big boss cricket movies harry potter blah 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 all the useless rubbish garbage of this world they are trying to fill that void somehow or the other kisi bhi hal mein sam dam dand bhed and that is why people end up becoming more and more and more and more and more miserable have you seen people hopping from one partner to the other flirting with 10 different members of the opposite sex and still they are nowhere running behind the opposite sex like dogs still they are nowhere why that is happening these are all symptoms of a inner inner disease it's like inner poverty poverty of the soul not of the mind so how to mitigate this well krishna says in the bhagavad gita very clearly suri da sarva bhutanam gyatva mam shantim ruchyati krishna says this he says that i am the most well wishing friend of all living entities so when you know 
that Krishna is always there with me. God is always there, whichever tradition you are following. Either you are a Hindu or a Christian or you are a Muslim, doesn't matter. God is always there with you. That's what I <laughs> say in the statement. <laughs> whichever way you uh, want to identify with him. Yes, through Allah, Jesus or Krishna or Ram, whichever you are comfortable with. So you have to realize that he is always there. And Krishna also says in the Gita that Ishwara Sarva Bhutanam Hridesh Arjuna Tishthati. Which means that, O oh Arjuna, I am seated in everybody's heart. Ishwara Sarva Bhutanam, in everybody's heart. Hridesh Arjuna Tishthati. I am situated. He is eternally situated there. So, actually speaking, who knows this can never feel lonely. Because then you know somebody is always there with me. Yes? But now you may think, okay, it's great to hear this, you know, that he's there, but I don't feel his presence. Yes? Do you feel that you don't feel his presence? Yes, definitely. Well, why that has happened? Because we have stopped listening to him from many, many, many lifetimes. That's the reason why we cannot feel him even when he's there. So what to do? We have to recultivate, we have to rekindle the love which is there in the heart of the living being. For God, that <coughs> love of God is eternally there in every living entity's heart. You don't have to uh, buy it from somewhere else. It's already there, but it's in a dormant state. We have forgotten that. It's like a multi-billionaire who has forgotten that due to some reason. That he has a billion dollars in his bank account. And he's going on searching here, there. Please somebody give me a job. Give me, you know, 10 euros, 20 euros. So, we have to revive that love. And how do you do that? Well, you have to do spiritual activities every day morning and every day evening. Read scriptures like the Bhagavad Gita every day. Okay. One shloka every day. You read the purport. Read scriptures like the Srimad Bhagavatam. You read scriptures like Ramayana, the Mahabharata can read the Bible, you can read the Quran, whichever scripture you want, you can read, which is authorized, which is bona fide. Then you should maintain good association with those people who remind you of God. And in the weekends, you should visit spiritual communities, spiritual centers. Like uh, last week, uh, last weekend, last weekend, I met so many great personalities spiritually who are so elevated, who are so much practicing uh, with a lot of determination, even when they are outside. And you know, so this is how you maintain your spiritual life. And you chant mantras in the morning, lead a sattvic lifestyle, give up eating meat, give up indulging in illicit sex, give up indulging in things like alcohol or pornography, prostitution, flirting with others. Yes, all these things, they cover up the soul more and more and more. The more you do this, the more you indulge in all this, the more you will feel lonely. Yes, that is why people go to discos and they dance. Why? Because they feel terribly lonely at home. Why do they see movies? Because they are terribly lonely. Their, their lives are filthy, boring, disgusting. So create a fulfilled life. Don't just run away and go for entertainment. Alcohol doesn't solve the problem. It makes you forget the question. Yes, yes, yes. Alcohol does not solve the problem. It makes you forget the question. Why you drink? Why do you drink alcohol? I don't care from where you are. You are in India or you are in London or somewhere in Berlin. <laughs> Why you drink alcohol? You can give all other excuses. Oh, it's because of society, blah, blah, blah. All the nonsense BS. Keep it with yourself. Don't, uh, don't tell that to me at least. Yes, you are taking alcohol because you want to feel good about yourself, right? So rather than doing activities which give you fulfillment in the long run. So for example, many people tell me that and they're in jobs which they absolutely hate. So why are you doing that job? Why don't you start your own business? Why don't you take up a job which is compatible with your nature? Yes, you will not do that because that's difficult, right? It takes a lot of hard work to do that. And that courage you do not have. So you end up doing something at a material level which doesn't give you fulfillment. And then you try to cover that emptiness more, more, more by going through these, you know, dating apps, by doing all these activities, which I just mentioned in this video. So that will not solve the problem. That will put you more into darkness. All right. So read scriptures like the Srimad Bhagavatam, 
by that you will understand what divinity is that the living being is eternally connected to god the living being is never separated from god okay and by that you will realize that you are never lonely and then you will never feel that life is terrible <laughs> and this will happen either you are in a relationship or you are married or you are not irrespective of that this will hold true all right so that is the best way to deal with loneliness create a life where you do not need rubbish entertainment create a life where you do not need vacations okay going on vacation sometimes that's fine but if your life is so filthy boring disgusting that you are always waiting when friday comes i will go to the bar and i'll just dance wow you are royally frustrated all right so instead of going to the bar please go to some spiritual community where you can find some enlightenment all right there you go if you are new to the channel then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me then you could go down to my website below you will find the link in the description section okay and always remember god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay bye bye